Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cinnamon Wolf. I'm a private photo editor and business coach for photographers and small creative business owners and also a little bit of a Squarespace ninja. So let's talk today about the five template on Squarespace and getting started and getting uh, just some knowledge around how to use this template uh, successfully. So this is actually one of my favorite templates on Squarespace just because of its flexibility and its ability to um, really showcase uh, some nice big images on a full bleed banner. Um, it's really great for photographers and other business owners alike who want to um, showcase some full bleed images. So I went ahead and installed the five templates. You can see kind of what it looks like straight out of the box. So again, it has a really nice clean style and um, it's got some nice features in here, but a few things can be a little bit tricky. So let's talk about some of these things. So the first thing I want to talk about are the banners. So you can see um, here off of the five template, we have various different pages that include banner images. Now banners are a kind of a requirement on five. You can't necessarily take them out. So I definitely recommend that you have a good idea of images that you want to include in the banner image on the pages of your five template. Now the, the words that are um, listed here on the banner images are the page titles. So you can see here under reserve, if I click on the page settings, you'll see that this is the page title and that's the information that is surfacing on top of this banner. Now, if you wanted to change the image that's in the banner, you would click on media and that's where the thumbnail image is located. And if you wanted to take that out and uh, put a different image here, you can do that by just deleting this image and then installing a new image into this section. Now, if you don't install an image that it will just be a color that's um, uh, here, we'll just show you, we'll delete this, we'll click save, and then you'll see that it's just a color. Now you can change that color. If you go to design, site styles, and then if we just click on the banner itself, you'll see the header background is listed here and you can actually change that color if you want to. You can also change how big the banner is by messing with the banner area spacing. And then you can see the page title is listed here and some other different uh, settings as, um, sorry, I just totally got distracted, um, all about the header. Now, if you want to take this off, let's see what happens if we do that and refresh the page. Yeah, it didn't actually change anything. Okay, so let's click on this again. Let's click on the whole thing, there we go. If you don't want this um, to show, if you don't want the text to show at all, you can actually make the um, text transparent and that will actually get rid, the word will still be there, you just won't be able to see it. Um, so if we click on this and we make this fully transparent. You'll see it just takes the word out and it's not. So the word is still there, but it's just transparent. So you're not actually seeing it on top of the banner. Okay, so that's a little bit about the banners. Now let's talk about the sidebars because this is something that's really interesting in the five template. So the five template actually allows you a lot of sidebar options. So where a lot of Squarespace templates don't even offer a sidebar um, or only offer them on the blog, you can actually have multiple sidebars on a five template. The one thing you have to remember is that the sidebars are, um, they're not unique per page. So once you set up your sidebar, so this is a sidebar, uh, sidebar one content. And if you put sidebar one content on another page, it's going to be the exact same thing. It's not going to be unique. So you just need to remember that as you are deciding what sidebar content you want to show and where. Now I'm a big fan of really only including sidebars on a blog post. Um, but for some site designs, it might be helpful to have sidebar content on multiple pages. So if you look in the, in the description for the page, Page, you will see this page layout. Now, this is not something that really occurs on a lot of other Squarespace templates. It's pretty unique to the five template. So you can see this page layout, ha page layout has one sidebar listed. You can split the sidebars so that they're on opposite sides of the page. You can put two sidebars next to each other 
or if you click on full width, which is kind of a confusing way to mention it, um, the sidebar will go away. So it just means that your page is now full width and is not including a sidebar option. So if you are going through the five template and you're confused as to why a sidebar is pulling up on a page, I believe when you actually create a page, it defaults it to a sidebar. So let's just save this new page and we'll see, yeah, it defaults you to one sidebar. So you actually need to go in every time you create a page and change this to full width so that it does not show um, the sidebar on the page. Okay, so we will delete that page because we don't need that there. And all right, so we talked about the header images and the sidebar options. One important thing also to know about the five template is that you are not able to put your um, your logo in the middle, like splitting through your navigation. Um, you can do it with some custom CSS, but just right out of the box, it's not something you're able to do. You are able to move your logo. Um, let's see, let's get the whole thing from one side to the other, I believe. So you can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, so it's on the left right now. If we put it on the center, so it'll be in the center, but it's gonna move your navigation over as well. So that is a little confusing as well because center kind of feels like it's right in the middle of the page with your navigation bar splitting, but it actually just kind of centers it within this box. And then if we chose the right side, it's just gonna push it over even farther. So just something to know as you um, are dealing with the five template and wanting your logo in a specific uh, place. And let's see, this is actually kind of, I like this little slash in between the navigation items, um, but you can hide that if you don't want that to show. And then of course, you know, this is not specific to five, but it's just, you know, a Squarespace design element. You can always change you know, the size, um, actually let's click on these. I'm not sure why it's not pulling that up for me. Let's go back to show all. Um, the header navigation. Size right here, there we go. So you can make them bigger, smaller, change the color. You can do all that fun stuff in the site styles. But um, we'll just leave it at that, that you have the opportunity to really um, highlight some images on your site in terms of the banner. Um, oh, I know what that did now that I'm looking at different banners. Um, we, t we clicked off that page thumbnail and so now it's not showing any of the images. Let's go back. Sorry if I'm moving too fast for you. I'm just changing some stuff here that... Now I can't seem to find it. Where did it go? Header, here we go, page thumbnail as banner. There we go. And we're gonna stretch it. Okay, there we go. Now it's back to normal. All right, so, but we still have on the one page, this page, no image, we'll just show the color. So you can choose to have the images show or just a color, it would be the same color on every page that doesn't have an image, but it is a really nice way to kind of uh, greet your visitors with a really beautiful uh, full bleed image on the page and then you can have the image or your page, you know, designated content down here below. Okay, so I think that that's it for the five template. I hope you found that helpful. Um, again, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more Lightroom and Squarespace content coming at you every week. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up and click on that little notification bell so you can get notified when a new video comes out. Um, hope you're having a great day and we will talk soon. Bye.